Hello, good evening, or good morning, or whenever it is. Coffee time. Mm. And we've got a little bit of, um, well, sad piano music in the background. That's because that's what I fancied. Ah, that's good. Let me just put that down. I've got a nice um, cinnamon swirl flavour in it today. Right, first thing you may notice there's a little card and a little kitten cat. Isn't that cute? Uh, so this is actually a present. So this is this is a keeper. Not even a catch and release, just a catch. Just take care of the kitty's got the little mouse there. Uh, but this is a present from, well, um, it's a present from, from Anne. So we all know Anne Pedicott in the, uh, the chats and on Instagram. Nice card. And it's from the Victorian Albert Museum. And the last time I went to the V&A, um, oh, who did they have on? They had Vivian Westwood corsets um, and like a punk exhibition as well. And that was really cool. So that's cool. It's all like little types of uh, silk shoes, printed with silk shoe design, Ferragamo, Italian, 1995. So that's nice. And yeah, she sent me this. It's a JJ, so Jonnet, Jules, Jonnet, something like that. Little kitty cat. She said she can't get the mouse to sit around the right way, but ain't that always the way? But isn't that so cute? Lovely little cat on a shelf playing with a mouse and the mouse obviously isn't particularly happy about it. Um and from the from the cat we go to this. If I can get it open. I bought this the other day. Um it's not silver, but I just got it because it was cute. There's the little mama owl and baby owl. Isn't that adorable? Little owls. But yeah, I can't see any marks on it, so I don't think it is silver. I haven't actually... Oh, I say that, and now I see a tiny little mark on the bale. So should we have a look? It could well be. Or it could just be my imagination. I don't know. There might be a little something there, but the light is not the greatest to, to check right now anyway. But anyway, I thought it was super cute. So, an owl and a pussycat and a mouse. You can all sit together. Right, the rest of these things I got over the last week or so. So you might have seen the song Carla show the other day on the Sunday morning that I'd been to, where had I been? Carbutzel, obviously. Just the pretend one and I bought a bunch of jewellery. So some of this is that. I think all of this comes to £45. But there's another 20 items downstairs of things I can sell separately, like brooches and cufflinks and things. And there was some broken bits that have gone into a broken brooches lot. And then about half a kilo of other broken stuff and half a kilo of um, like modern costume jewellery, but just stuff that I don't sell. But this is okay. Hang on, let me just, you're wobbling a little bit. See if that's any better. Yeah, so £45, so I've got those 20 items downstairs and then all of this slot as well. So from various places, £36 was spent at the car boot and then £2 at charity shop, some table sale stuff and then a few other bits from charity shop as well. Um, make the most of this one. Put it on repeat, watch it over and over again. Because um, as some of you might know that... Um, for one, Wales is in lockdown from Friday up until the 9th of November, um, but also I'm self-isolating. Um, I've got an operation on the 5th of November, and uh, so obviously I won't be leaving the house and nothing much coming into the house and whatever does come into the house has obviously got to be quarantined for a bit. Um, yay. So anyway, these were some more bits from that little lot. So I just thought I'd show you these again because I thought these ones were really nice. So there's some fab, very art deco style earrings with the black enamel and spangly bits. I think they're modern, like, well, they are modern-ish. Um, I would say probably 80s with this kind of fastening and stuff. So 
made in the 80s but a 1920s, 30s kind of style. I just thought they were cool. These three are probably doing a little lot together because they look quite nice together, all different types of feathers. That one's more of a, a writing quill, but I think they look quite nice together. So I'll probably sell them as a little bundle. They look quite nice. Um, this one, even though it's another feather, it doesn't seem quite right with them. And also it's just a lovely marker seat brooch on its own. And I love how Marcusy kind of catches the light and stuff. I say that and I don't have that much light in here, <laughs> but it does. And it's really pretty. This was one of the necklaces that came in that uh, bag. Well, it was just a pendant on its own with abalone shell. This isn't silver, but it might be silver plated. And then there was a couple of loose chains in there. So I just matched some up. But it's a lovely colour in there and a really nice swirl in that one. Almost looks like a galaxy forming or something, doesn't it? It's quite cool. So I'm just going to have some more coffee. Chin chin. Right. So I've got some bangles in the table sale in Puthcall. I think they wanted like 50 pence each. So these are some quite nice Clisone bangles. Like, so it's got the, like possibly copper and brass wire work. And then the enamel is like painted in and then, um, like, oh God, I used to do enameling in school and in like youth club. I went to youth club on a Thursday night and we did crafts and one of them was enameling. Of jewelry and yeah so paint it on the enamel and then you'd put it in the kiln and you had to heat it up to a certain temperature and the copper goes bright green and stuff it's very cool anyway so there's some some nice bangles they don't go for loads but I just thought they were quite nice um this is I think it's L and P um for Bush and Deichmann Copenhagen so this is like a scarf print under plastic. Again, they don't go for huge amounts, maybe for about 10 pounds on this one. And it's mainly for the name. I mean, it's a pretty enough bangle, but obviously the name sells it. This was another one that came in a lot on Sunday. And I think Sue, you'll have to guide me on this one, but what do you think? London blue for the nice dark blue ones. But really, really pretty stones in that. It's gonna be probably a 1950s one, and this is one that I have to reattach a spring ring to, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure I've got a spare one downstairs. I'll find one anyway, cause it's worth it. But that's just a lovely, lovely little Art Deco style, but probably 1950s, if not a little bit later. Necklace there. Oh, this is fun. Right, I picked this one up for 50 pence. I think it's probably 90s, 90s in style. It says Korea on there. Um, but I thought this is fun, like all oh, sun and moon and stars and stuff. Well, that's quite nice until I noticed these. They're sheriff's badges. Now how quite random is that? So you've got all lovely, like swirly, almost celtic -y sort of uh, sun and moon there. And then randomly American, American, what's it say? Wild West sheriff's badges. So I just thought that was hilarious. I might take off the sheriff badges. I think there's two on there and then just move down yeah, the moons to go in their place because it just looks a little bit weird to me. But here we are. Tell me if you think I should do it. I think I probably will. It just seems a bit odd, doesn't it? Got some nice um, proper like gold, uh, gold tone and gold plated. This I think is lovely. Look at the way that's articulated. That is super cool. It's almost like 
like a snake skin. But yeah, that's super lovely. Really nice construction on that. Again, it's probably 1950s or 60s. I think you can wear it either way, but I would wear it that way. I think that's really cool. But yeah, nice collar length on that one. Um, can't see anything. Oh, what's that say? Hong Kong. So yeah, probably 1950s or 60s on this one. Very lightweight. But yeah, I think that's super cool. And then this one, this is a really heavy one. This is proper 1980s. If not 90s actually. Really, really lovely condition on this one. Super heavy. That will sit lovely around the neck. These lovely almost tulip kind of shapes. But really chunky. Shame there's no maker in there. I've looked all over. And I keep seeing things that I think might be a mark. And then it just ends up being, you know, part of the brushed sort of metal effect on the back. So yeah, no maker, which is a real shame. Oh well. Still blooming lovely though. This one I think might be 1970s. It's got a cone shaped dangle on it, which possibly might be one of the coral ones. I'm not quite sure. So I'll have to look that one up. I think this is gold plated. Really lovely mesh work on the top there and then a nice flat curved chain. It's a really interesting design that one. Again, that was sit nicely round the neck. It's quite weighty. And lovely proper bright yellow gold. Really nice. Right, this one definitely is Coro. So I think Stephen saw 69 and a few other people were asking, and Carla, uh, were asking about the dangle. So that is a Coro dangle. I think also this is what's called a book piece. So it's mentioned in some jewelry books. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I've seen it somewhere like that. Um, but in really nice condition. This is a dual craft one rather than Coro, uh, which is the same company. And so it is signed there, dual craft. And that's thermoset plastic in there. So a nice purple kind of marble effect thermoset plastic and yeah really lovely condition probably 1960s or early 70s on that one but super cool lovely color uh, this one so one of the nice gold necklace collar length this one is gold plated because it's Monet and they gold plate their items. A more recent one. This probably would have been about 35, 40 pounds brand new. But really lovely rope twist. And again in really really nice condition as well. I've got a couple of Celtic ones. So this one was from the uh the job lot that I got on Sunday. So this is one that I added a chain to. They're just glass in there, but like marble effect. Don't think I can see a signature on that one. No, no signature there. This one is signed though. So we've got different types of glass made to look like different stones, like jade and carnelian and agate and little Scottish thistles all the way round in a Celtic cross kind of shape. And this one is signed just there, it says Jacobite. So you might find one similar that say Miracle or Sea Gems. That's quite a cool one. And I think that probably is its chain for it. So that was loose in the bag, but I think that would have been its original chain. A nice Celtic item here. 
So this is one that I was hoping would be silver. A nice like infinity kind of Celtic knot there. But I did test it. And I think it's low grade, so possibly like a, maybe a pewter. Shame it's not silver, that would have been really nice. But lovely brooch all the same. Nice as a sash pin. That would be lovely for Hogmanay. Uh, these brooches you see all the time, the little basket of flowers with the red enamel roses. Really cute, I think 1960s or 70s. I tend to get a few of them together and bunch them up that way. This one I just thought was interesting. Uh, again, it's not silver. But I just thought the stone was quite a nice colour. A nice bit of filigree around the outside as well. So a contemporary piece. Oh, I said the word piece, sorry. Contemporary bit of jewellery. But just had a nice kind of bohemian sort of look to it. Almost um, perhaps Indian in style as well. Quite nice and simple anyway. And another one, I think, is that an orchid? So that has been printed onto, I think, plastic. And then in just a white metal back and chain. But super pretty anyway. Oh, got a little... It's just to gonna jump in the bath. Okay. <laughs> Don't jump too hard. <laughs> and I've got a lovely knot in that one. That's gonna be fun. But yeah, little Swarovski crystal heart. And that's on a silver bale and silver chain. And a fab ring. Now I've got a pendant with the same kind of detail on that and that's tested as silver um, and I think, I can't remember what the stone is that I've got in it, might be a green stone. I think this is made to look like it's coral, um, I don't, it's not though, I think it's plastic that's just got a, yeah you can see around there that it's just been printed on. Or it could be dyed highlight, dyed highlight. No, I think it's, I think it's plastic. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, it's a fabulous ring, none the same, or nonetheless. Anyway, rather fab. Unfortunately, not silver, but probably a low grade. It looks like a low grade silver, anyway. But still very cool. Okay, this one was silver. We tested this live. There's no marks in there at all. But I just had a feeling and it's got a really lovely weight to it. Really nice. And lovely faceted, possibly blue topaz in there. So I'm guessing this is like an artisan, like studio piece. Oh, I said it again. Should be a drinking game really, shouldn't it? Every time I say peace, I have to take a drink. <laughs> But I think that's quite nice though. So that'll probably go over on my Etsy store. Oh, we've got another piece of money. Oh, drink. I'm going to take a drink. <laughs> so a really nice money bracelet. Money, um, see this? Ba, ba, ba. Now that's not a lobster clasp that, I can't remember what they called it, but Monet Painting did that. I think back in the 70s. See it's got a little hang tag there that says Monet. And these nice bezel set crystals. So like glass crystals. 
The way to check for glass crystals, by the way, is obviously hold it up to natural daylight and you should be able to see rainbows through them. Now, that's a sad lamp over there, which gives off sunlight type rays. So I wonder, I don't know. It's pretty anyway. Oh, and I'm also wearing one of the, um, the bracelets that were in that lot as well. You know when you get something and you just swear it's gold? Now I swear it's gold and I keep testing it for some reason hoping that, I don't know, one time I'll test it and it changes its mind and ends up being gold. Um, but it never does. Should I weigh the two together? Nah, I think I just like the one. It's a nice little rope twist one. Nice and simple and delicate. Nothing like me. <laughs> Right, this I bought 50 pence, I think. And I think that's jade in there. Really unusual, I think 1970s. And the reason I think it's jade is because one of them is broken and it's not really broken like glass. It's more broken like stone or like rock, there we go. See how it's like shattered in layers? You can see that and that's more how rock breaks isn't it so I'm just wondering whether that's jade it's almost the right color for it I think but really lovely necklace anyway shame it's not gold eh because that would have been fabulous just check the clasp again <laughs> and this is where we find out that oh what's that mark there no, it's just a bit of dirt. <laughs> but it's fab anyway. Ah, this was from the lot. This is when I was like, why is the inside so nice? And then the outside, like it's nice. But the inside is really nice with all of that detail. I don't know, just really unusual. Uh, this is silver cubic zirconium and then with um, gold plating over the top it's quite small I'm an M so I'm guessing that's probably a K nice and sparkly though that'll do and we have got a little bit of silver so that's silver back Silver bale, silver chain, with a lovely bit of abalone in there. Again, really nice and simple, but quite striking, I think. Um, I did buy a little baggie of earrings from a charity shop. There was about eight pairs of earrings, which I've just put into the um, kilo bag that I'm making up. And then these two pair of silver earrings. Now this matches a silver necklace that I bought from there the other week. So I've got a nice little set now. I'll give them a little polish. And then these ones as well. So these lovely silver twists uh, with a little bit of rose quartz in the middle there. So super pretty. And then they just stamped 925 on the tops there. Nice like double helix almost. Ooh, this is nice. I don't normally go for hearts and things like that and pinks and golds because I know it's almost a bit too girly for me. But I love that this is really understated, don't you think? I'm obviously joking but it's really camp and kitsch. And just there, that's the Swarovski stone. So this is Swarovski crystal. Um, it's made by DHP and I haven't looked them up um, to find out what the actual name is, but I recognize the Swarovski crystal. And even when I saw it, I was like, I bet they're Swarovskis. But that's super gorgeous. That would be lovely for Valentine's Day. 
Um, some more bits from the car boot lot I got the other day. So you might remember that I got a little bit of gold. So these are the best bits of the gold. So I've got a nice gold bracelet. Ooh, and then I lose it. Like I lost the other pairs of earrings I bought the other day. Never mind. We don't talk about that. I lost some gold earrings. They're in the house somewhere. Or I've packed them in an order and someone has got a nice surprise of a pair of gold earrings. <laughs> but yeah, see this little almost razor blade kind of looking toggle on there and that says um, 375 and it also says it on the spring ring as well just under a gram so in scrap value that's about uh, say 16 pounds that's all right and then these little beauties right here they are stamped 750 and that's 18 karat gold now I need to definitely test what these stones are. They've got lovely open backs on them. And why would you put boring stones like glass into 18 karat? So, like I said before, my uh, diamond tester basically just tests to see if something is cheese or not. And it's not particularly good. I mean, what do you expect for a tenner? But I might get these tested properly, but they keep anyway. And then this is probably one of my favourite finds, bizarrely. Cost me 50 pence. It's stamped 925 in there, but it's just all different colours of jade and mother of pearl possibly onyx possibly amethyst possibly carnelian but all different types of stones there and then with a chinese symbol in there i've seen loads of different prices for these ranging from about 20 pound for like a plain one with all the same color up to about 120 pounds but yeah i think that's really cool anyway i just love all the different colors on that it's gorgeous. And then my bizarre, okay, it's not quite jewellery. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry, and I've just got this little ring as well that I was hoping would be um, silver. But I think it's just stainless steel with possibly mother of pearl and a little bit of um, enamel in there, I think. I might test it again just to make sure. It's nice anyway, it's handmade. I just thought it was cute. But yeah, my, uh, okay, they're not quite jewellery purchases, but they're fun. Some crown jewels. These cost me 20 pence each. And um, yeah, I won't tell you, but just just look at Completed and Souls on miniature crown jewels and you'll be quite surprised. I bought them because I thought they were fun anyway and 20 pence each but I might give them to some of my teeny tiny animal aid to wear and I might just crown them kings and queens but they're fun aren't they <laughs> yay right well that's everything for this week I hope somehow to get my hands on some other jewellery somehow um Send me stuff, I'll go through it for you. <laughs> no, kidding. Kidding, because I want to keep it all. Um, yeah. It'll be a while before I get to go out shopping again. So, no more treasure hunting for me for the time being, unfortunately. But that's okay. I've got enough to be getting on with, haven't I, really? I guess. <laughs> oh, well. If there is anything here that you fancy, then obviously just email me email address below um, or contact me through Instagram. Please beat me to listing it, which you probably will. Um, and I'll give you a, a better deal than I would have on eBay or Etsy. Because it's only fair. Right, thank you very much guys. And until next time, uh, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. <laughs>